Carolyn Doobie here. What's the play for today? Well, today I'm playing in my art journal for Soul Journey 28. So what is Soul Journey 28? It is a year-long art journaling event. They've got prompts, they've got different guests, and I happen to be honored to be this week's guest. You can check it all out over on Facebook and I have a link down below the video for you so you can get right to it. So what am I gonna do in my art journal? Well, I'm gonna start with out a plan. I know, that's no shocker for me, right? I'm gonna get pattern and color on the page using a stencil and a gel plate, but I'm not gonna use the entire stencil. I'm just gonna use part of it and I'm gonna let the layers build up. I'm gonna work in some journaling and in the end, my muse will have a message for me with the word that I chose for what was kind of percolating around in my brain as I was making this. I'm gonna build a background and to do that, I'm gonna use a pattern and a gel plate. Now the pattern that I'm gonna be using, that's a ladder stencil created for Stencil Girl and I'm using the three by five gel plate here. Now I'm not gonna use the whole thing, I'm gonna use pieces and parts. It's gonna look very different when I only use some of it. Now notice that I had the stencil already on the journal page and then I just put the gel plate on top of it. And of course also that little hair in there. I didn't really intend for that to be there. And what that's gonna do is create a pattern, little bits here and there. See, it doesn't matter whether you put the stencil on the plate or on the paper or what order. What matters is, is that you get some pattern on there. So do I have a plan? Do I know exactly where I'm going with this? Well, in general, I know I'm gonna put a bunch of color and pattern on here, but that's as detailed as the plan is. I'm just gonna start getting stuff on there and seeing where it takes me. If I do too much thinking early on when I'm making something, what that does is just, well, it leads to frustration for me. So what I wanna do is I'm just gonna get this pattern all over the page. And the reason why I put the stencil on the page and the plate on top of it is it makes for some very, very speedy stenciling because when I'm building a background, a lot of times I feel very impatient and I want lots of results and I want them quickly. You also notice there's a little color transfer going on there in the orange. Some of that turquoise from before, yep, they're all mingling and mixing around there, adding some more variety and colors to it. And that is simply because I didn't fully clean off the gel plate. In fact, I rarely ever fully clean it off. I let those colors mingle and play together. So what do you do if you don't have a stencil to do this? Well, all you do then is grab a piece of plastic and cut out a shape, or you can go out and grab something from nature, grab some interesting leaves or shapes, things that are out there and use those. What matters is, is that you have a pattern and it's your choice as to what pattern you wanna use. Some days when I do this, I cover up every last little bit of white space and some days I don't. And today I'm feeling the urge to not cover up every last little spot because I'm gonna use some of that space for some journaling. Now wet paint can be a little rough on pens and sometimes even dried paint can actually be rough on pens. So I'm gonna do my best to write on here on the naked paper parts, the parts that don't have any paint on them yet. And notice I said do my best because well, I just kind of go a little bit over it here. That's taken a wee bit of a risk here with my pens, but I'm feeling like living on the edge and taking that big old risk. Now, as I'm journaling here, this is what I call scribble journaling. Well, I think anybody would call this scribble because it can't be read. I can't read it. So, and I'm the one writing it, but I am writing actual real words. I am putting real stuff in there, what's on my mind and what I'm thinking at the time. It's a way to just kind of pop those emotions right onto the page. Now to color in some of that white space, I'm gonna use an art crayon here. These are by Marabou, and I'm just coloring in very loosely, comfortably some of the white areas. If you've never used an art crayon, they're very slick in your hands. They're literally kind of creamy and just slide right on the page. They will react to water so that if I were to hit them with something very fluid, then they would behave like a watercolor. Now I can color right over stuff. This wonderful color is translucent. So as I color over my journaling, I can still see the writing that's under there. The fact that the yellow's translucent was also why I could do a sloppy job coloring in the white space on the ladders, and it almost looks like I was actually trying to stay carefully in the lines. But between you and me, no, there was none of that happening. Well, the pink from the art crayon really has me thinking about getting some more pink pattern on here. So to do that, I'm gonna use the acrylic paint here on the gel plate, and I'm gonna grab another ladder, and I'm simply gonna take little bits of that in the corner, building on the pink that was on the art crayon. Now I know as I'm creating this, that it's layers building up. And if I don't like something, I can just put another layer on top of it. So that really takes the pressure off. 
That lets me just enjoy the fun of following my impulses. So if I want to put a little pink here, a little pink there, I can do it. Now, every now and then I'll get a voice in my head that says, justify to me why you put all that pink there. Explain to me the purpose of it all. And when those kinds of things pop up in my head, I say stuff like, cause I wanted to, cause it was fun, cause I really like burp or the pink right now. So I'm just gonna keep putting more and more of it on the page. And eventually that voice figures out it's not gonna get anywhere and it pipes down, quiets down, and I can get back into the full fun and joy of creating and making in my art journal. And while I'm going in and filling up some of the white spaces on there with more color, my brain is beginning to think about what I wanna journal about next on the page. What are the thoughts going through that I wanna capture on the page? Now, by the way, when I capture my thoughts on a page, I don't care if I can read them. I definitely don't want anybody else to read them. So that's why it's a lot of times that very scribbled journaling kind of look. And if I do my journaling with one of these art crayons, it's gonna have a big look. It's definitely gonna be very, very difficult to read. And that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if anybody can read it. What matters is, is that I'm getting them out onto the page. Now that's for me. What if you want to be able to read it? Then just write neatly or in a way that you can read it. So the choice is yours as you're creating in your journal. And that's one of the cool things to me about art journaling is there aren't any rules. It's about what's right for you, what works for what brings you joy, what makes you happy when you're creating. And so I was feeling the call of that gel press plate again. So I'm gonna load it up with another color of paint and I'm gonna get some more onto this page. I'm gonna put, yep, more pattern on here. Pattern on top of pattern on top of pattern. And some things get covered up along the way. Nothing's ever completely covered up. A little bits of it still peek out. Like you can still see some of that black scribble journaling from underneath that yellow paint. To add a title to the page, I'm gonna use a stencil to do that. Why? Because I'm not a big fan of my handwriting. So when I do titles, I like to use things like stencils to help me out there. I'm just gonna use one of the words on here, the word discover, and I'm using a cosmetic sponge. I'm pouncing up and down in as straight a motion as I can for a clear, crisp image. And notice I didn't mask anything off, and the cosmetic sponge lets me stay for the most part where I want to. That little bit of paint there, yeah, that's just a little baby wipe in my hand. If I get to it quickly, it comes right up and it's not a problem. Now I'm about to stencil some more with those ladders, but I'm not gonna use the gel plate this time. This time I'm gonna use a cosmetic sponge. So why is it I switched over to using a cosmetic sponge to do it? Well, that's because I've been using that gel plate over there as my paint palette, which by the way, they work fantastically for that because paint peels right off of them, right? Uh, but that's why I switched over to using the cosmetic sponge rather than cleaning off the black paint because I have a sneaky suspicion that I am gonna do a little more stenciling and I want that black paint for that. The stenciling that I'm gonna do is related to the word that I chose for the title. I'm gonna pick these three women to stencil onto the page. These are from the Sketchy Women with Attitude stencil. Now I have her standing on the scribble journaling that's up there. That's like the ledge that she's standing on on the page. The next one I'm gonna anchor down to the ground by putting her on the bottom of the page. And the reason for putting these in the different places, well, that's the meaning for me in this page. That's the message that I got during this play is that when I'm art journaling, I'm always discovering something more about myself. Sometimes it's about my thoughts. Sometimes they keep me grounded. Sometimes I'm kind of floating out there with them. All those parts of me, they're parts that I get to get in touch with and honor when I'm art journaling. When I designed the sketchy women, I wanted to be able to get two different looks from it. One, the stenciled look, which I love, and also two, a sketchy look on top of it. So that's why I'm taking the Stabilo All Pencil here and I'm tracing over her. I'm going over it, adding a little bit of that hand-drawn top layer touch to it. Now the reason why a Stabilo All Pencil is because I've got art crayon on there, I've got paint on there, and it's really hard for a pen to survive writing on top of that stuff. Now there's one last thing that I want to do to this page. One last little thing that ties it all together for me. And it's going to go right underneath the title. This is what wraps it all up for my heart. It's the message that I needed to see today. And that's what I'm journaling on there. 
Well, thanks so much for joining me for this art journal play today. If you've been enjoying this video and would like to see more of my videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. That way you'll know as soon as I have a new video out. And of course, you can find out more of what I'm up to over on the blog at acolorfuljourney.com. Thanks so much for letting me be a part of your colorful journey. 